This is only for the righteous ones who love the wisdom, which is the mercy and truth of God. And they have her tied around their neck as a necklace of precious jewels and her laws written in their hearts. But who told these religious men and women that they can collect any tribute for God if they can't even do what God does? How much longer are you going to listen to false preachers who tell you lies about God? Do you want to know how you can verify that they are false? Look at what Christ says in 1 John 4, 1-3. Dear children, do not believe all who say they have the Spirit of God. Put them to the test to see if they are what they claim to be, because the world is full of false prophets. You can know that a person has the Spirit of God if he recognizes that Jesus Christ came into the world in the flesh like us. But if they say that this is not true, it is because they do not have the Spirit of God. On the contrary, they have the Spirit of the enemy of Christ. You already knew that this Spirit had to come, and I want to tell you that it has already arrived in the world. You already knew that this unclean Spirit that opposes the holy doctrine of Christ had to come before her because it clearly says, let no one deceive you in any way because the manifestation of Christ will not come without the apostasy coming first. And the man of sin manifests, the son of perdition who opposes and rises up against everything that is called God or is an object of worship, so much so that he sits in the temple of God as God, pretending to be God. And one might wonder, how could the man of sin sit in the temple of God? First of all, the temple of God is Christ. It is in the body of Christ where she is one with God the Father because he dwells in her. That is why when she said that she was going to purify the temple, she was speaking of the temple of her body because she had been contaminated by the man of sin. Christ is the woman who was deceived while the mystery of iniquity was still standing. But once removed from the midst, Christ is then resurrected and as the wife of God the Father Melchizedek and the spiritual mother of her holy creation, she extended the heavens with her wisdom. And that is how the stars of her spiritual womb were born. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 